everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Voidigo 1.0. Oh, wow, that rhymes way too well. So I'm actually going to have to delete my old save because the 1.0 uh, has like a camp overhaul, and it works better if I actually start over fresh. Have you ever heard a story about pillars of light older than time and the keepers that defended them? Under blue skies, in the blink of an eye, a darkness came and tested them. And even in spite of all of their might, the darkness outbursted them. Mm, do not worry. This is just the beginning. You do not know who you are, but the Antivoid calls for you, so you know where you're going, and that is enough. We're just going to skip the tutorial because I've played this game a fair bit. I'm sure there's maybe a couple of things I've missed, but that's it. So I don't have anything to feed the anti-void at the moment because uh, we have no currency. So tutorial co-op. Yeah, we'll skip the co-op for today. So we've got a couple of characters, but we only have Drash at the moment. Memories hazing. She cannot remember how she got here or from where. One thing's for certain, the anti-void has chosen her to clear the corruption through the universe. Maybe this will help her find clarity. Sure. And, I mean, realistically, we have nothing I could mess around with. I guess we'll go orange and moderate. Um, take less damage, enemy bullets are slower. I think moderate was fine. I forget. I like the fact that this has all of these different options. I uh, do not remember which one's right for me. To stay intact, much like other life forms cling to water. Okay. Here's a question. Can I change the uh, sound effects for the voice? Narrator volume. I was wondering why it was a little quiet. There we go. World start narrator. Turn it on or off. Oh, I see. Neat. All right. That should be fine. There we go. We want to break everything that's shiny because that's got all the crystals in it. Everything else I don't think gives me anything cool. Uh, let's see. So if you haven't seen this game before, it's a top down, uh, top down style, uh, I guess, shooter roguelike, but with some actual meta progression. Let's see. It very much is kind of a successor to Nuclear Throne as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't have the, um, the physics in the same way. But it's got its own kind of style and things to make it worth, uh, worth checking out. Specifically, I, I wish you could actually, like, yeet enemies into each other, but alas, that is not a thing in this one. Uh, at least not, not to what I remember. And it's fine. I was gonna say, I really wish developers would specifically... I'm just gonna beat that guy to death. I really wish developers, uh, when they hit 1.0 and ask you to, like, restart your save file, I actually wish it was compulsory. You know, kind of this, like, you have to start your own save file. What is this? I have no idea. Max health for three random bundles. Sure, let's see what happens. Oh, these are, might actually be good. Grenade on reload, beacon barrage during battle. Well, let's knock back enemies. Let's snag that one. Water sprint during combat, beacon powered emerald on turret, or stronger knockback. Okay, rat infested loot, meteoric acid, Health Jar Bombardment. Go for Meteoric Acid. I have no idea how that specifically is supposed to work. Oh, it didn't die. Okay, I guess we've just abused that clam into oblivion. I don't remember how to increase my max HP if it's one of those where you collect health containers or what. It doesn't strictly matter at the moment. Okay, so these guys actually have a little bit more range than I thought they would. I'm just gonna hop on top of them. Oh, and be wary of that thing down there that is taking some pot shots at me. Yeah, so rather than a dodge roll, I have a jump instead, which is actually, in my opinion, almost cooler. 
There we go. Pop that open. So we had a portal up here, which takes me to a loot vortex. Oh, no, it's not a portal. It's a loot vortex. It's got a scrappy gun, whatever that is. I don't know. If I sound out of sorts, it's because this game, this game is a little bit chaos. But, like, kind of in the best possible way. Fuck. Don't take too much damage. Ooh, that meteoric hit is really solid. What do we have in here? Imperiant's Nest. Alright. So, chance to spawn crystals on impacts. Defeated enemies revived once. Or, defeated enemies throw ice runes. Elder runes spawn on some ten... Defeated enemies throw ice runes. Elder runes spawn and stomped enemies fling ice axes. I'm going to go with crystal impacts. So enemies will revive once. Let's see. But I think that's the only thing. Okay. Nice health jar. There we go. What? Oh, there's an ant in here too. Okay. Right, I can break a health jar. Wait, can I not use one? Oh, no, I see. That's how I use them. I have to break them to use them. It's not just an automatic thing. Boy, my movement speed is really bad. There we go. Avoid that for a hot second. Trying to smack him. There we go. Okay, then we've got that guy. Anything else? Oh, I don't know if I need to worry about those. Oh, nope, that's just dead. Cool. Alright, we've completed it. We get exploding crystals on impacts. I don't entirely know what those impacts count as, but it's fine. Like, is it a gunshot? Is it me jumping on things? Is it... I don't know. We'll find out. Oops. Didn't mean to scrap that gun. Oh, we were... Wait, you can run out of ammo on the Begunner. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh, here we go. Dodging spikes. Stompable void buttons appear. Grenade on reload. I think I'm going to go for the void button. I don't know how much of these are actually, like, worth it, and how many of them are downright risky, but who cares? What's the worst that could happen, right? Alright, have I seen everything else here? Yeah. Interesting, this level is not the old kind of circle design that it used to be. Probably for the best, actually. Right, so what are you? Feed the void. Now, if I remember right, this guy will give me uh, give me items, but only if I have enough resources for it. And we currently don't have enough juice. Time for some vandalism, I guess. I don't think there's anything else there. But at least we have enough to feed this guy one more time. Please be enough. Nope. All right. I guess we'll just keep hunting. Hopefully I'll be, have an, be able to have enough money before we get out of here. I mean, this seems promising, all things considered. Alright. There we go. Avoid the bug. Luckily, bug cleared out most of the lootable jars for me. Which is appreciated. I guess I should probably... Oh. Go for that. Go for a bit of HP, but not max HP. It doesn't do that. Okay, how are we doing currency-wise? Oh, that—that that is an unsettling creature. Okay. Wait, no. Right. I have to jump on those. Opens that up. I think we're getting pretty close. The boss fight? There we go. Not quite ready yet. We can't kill it. 
But it is pissed off and hates me. We're just gonna leave, though. No reason to fight until we've actually opened up its entire health bar. Okay, those void buttons are a little... A little worrisome. Powerful, I'm sure, but creepy. We're doing ammo-wise. Okay. A lot of ink. Oop. Thank you, Meteor. You're making my life easy. Okay, we've got plenty of resources. All right, let's pop this one open. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna beat him to death. No reason for me to specifically mess around with. Uh, I think the boss is here. The thing is, I'm not sure if I really want to fight this thing quite yet. I'm just going to keep wandering around. What do we have here? Ooh, shop? Hello. Okay, we've got this over here, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, bullet wall bounce. New gun, faster sprint. Yeah, the problem is I've spent all of my money on that explodey dude. And I kind of don't have a choice but to specifically go back and sunk cost fallacy the rest of my money in. You know what, actually? Let's fight the boss. Okay. I don't think you can jump on the boss. You kind of can. But it's not quite as worth it. I don't know what that crystal... Oh, I see. He just shoots in that general direction. Lucky, Luckily, I've got that fairly powerful proc meteor that I can just rely on. Whoop. I don't know if it's a proc or if it's an overtime thing. Because it seems to be slightly erratic on when it decides to... Go for a smash. Oh, he big mad. Fine. Now, is he leaving? No, he's not leaving quite yet. Now he's leaving. Oop. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that costs money? No, thank you. I will figure it out. We definitely do need a second gun, though. can actually use all of this extra ammo. I think the boss is almost dead, and I mean, worst comes to worst, I just hang out <laughs> awkwardly waiting for the meteor to go. Please explode. There we go. That was expensive. Okay, that did not hurt me. Faster melee attack speed. Alright, be gone... Okay, we can't do that. So we've got a saxophone and axe pals. Oh, axe pals sounds fun. Now there should be a boss here? Yeah, there he is. There we go. Let's stay away from the weird void. Oh. Oh, right. We ain't done yet. There's the void variant. Unfortunately, this trombone thing is not the most accurate weapon in existence. Okay, how did I avoid that? I have no idea. And there's the void button, which I want to get over there and hit. Got. Messed him up. Oh, that's unsettling to look at. Alright. We get some more ammo. Get some more durability. The stompable fire buttons appear, rat bullets, or all buttons spit bubbles.
I don't remember what rat bullets do. But all things considered, I think I'm gonna go for that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Take a little bit more ammo. And yeah, not nearly enough currency to spend on much of anything. There's a couple of rooms that I should probably, or rooms, a couple of pots that I should break open. But I think otherwise we were pretty thorough here. So let's just exit the world. We don't have enough currency to do anything fancy, and I think I'm going to stop feeding stuff to the loot blob. Okay, same quit to the menu. Nah. So we can give up. One of my things. For even faster melee attacks. Sure. I forgot you could upgrade those. What is this? Oh, please don't tell me you want it. Sacrifice power up for max health. Not keen on it. Sacrifice max health for three random things. If I hadn't just upgraded my melee. Doesn't look like there's anything else for me to do here, so let's just leave the anti-void. I don't actually know if I'm going to win this run. Uh, it's, from what I remember, this game is reasonably difficult. Skeletal remains are considered free. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I think my axe buddy does actually... So I have two axes here. One that is kind of a free attack. And one that is a... Much more like direct paid attack. Okay, let's stay away from those guys because they will explode. Okay. Do they actually give anything? I can beat them up, but it doesn't look like it. The one problem is my axes kind of complain. Okay, funky smelling cave. What do you have? Ooh. Defeat all enemies in less than 30 seconds. Low gravity. I don't know what this sword is. But I like... I like the idea of low gravity. got a lot to avoid here, and low gravity makes it slightly difficult. There we go. He's dead. Yeah, I just wasn't confident in my ability to... There we go. Oh! Got him. Alright, so we get this, which is Skull Whisper. Another melee weapon. Oh, that's what that is. Excuse me, sir. Be gone. Ugh. All right, so what is this? Electric sprint during combat. Bullets travel, travel towards the direction you point. Beacons fire lasers. All oh, right, I do have a sprint. Because, yeah, you can, you can sprint through most structures and things to get money. Yeah, I mean, doing the tutorial would have been slightly valuable, but time is money, man. Okay. Doesn't look like I can do anything else. Leave the loop vortex. Oh. I also have a harvest sickle. Is it a gun? Yes. That's interesting. Can I... Can I see what this does? I don't know. I I liked the Axe Pals. I guess I can use my melee attacks with this one. I think I'm going to have to leave the Axe Pals behind. I have no idea if they're good or not, but at least I can leave them there until I know. Nope. I don't want to sacrifice my power-ups here. Okay, I I suppose it died. 
Okay. Uh, sacking max health for three random bundles. In retrospect, is not actually a bad idea. I should really look at what this weapon does. Because, yeah, the one thing is, I can probably trade one of those upgrades for some max health. Like, it is, it is a net positive. It's just a risky one. Let's do it afterwards. Because, yeah, I, I think it would actually be more valuable for me to... Probably sack for the max health. Nope. Something hit me there. Okay, laser shield on block. Oh, trade. Oh, trade that for emerald on shielding. Sure. I don't exactly know what happened here, but I'm not going to complain too much. Go back and grab my, um... My other melee weapon. Because I think I want to save Skull Whisperer for boss fights. I'm not entirely comfortable with melee attacks in general on this, but... I mean, it's mostly serving me fine. Okay, we're done with that area. Something exploded over there, but not an issue for me. Grab this. Right. And we should break those. The only immediate problem with this axe, in retrospect, is the fact that one of them complains. Okay. Maybe that doesn't do that much damage. There we go. We're gonna send that off. Not actually... Ow? Really? I guess my hitbox is smaller than I thought. There we go. Let's just go back to slapping him around. There we go. If it's like one enemy at my mercy, I might as well just go full ham on them. Okay. So we got that. Nothing in there. But we do have a Porco Shed. Farewell, Axe Pals. Hopefully... Okay, good. That just pops out of the void. I have no more... No more weapons. Dude, just this boy up. That's anything exploded. Nope. Nothing over there. Yep. Stay away from that guy. Doesn't look like there's much to worry about, though. Another one of these. Yeah, it's almost... It's always... Oh. I found the boss. Unfortunately, bad time for me to be fighting him. Not the hailest or the hardiest in the moment. He's dead. Stay away from that. Proper chaos. Stay away from the lasers. Okay. There's the void button. I want him to land close to me. Whoops. Come on. Come over. Good enough. Actually, no. That is him. Wow, those are effective. Unfortunately, I am also near death. Oops. Want nothing to do with that. So, time for me to just leave. We've got a couple pieces of health. This is why I did not want to um, immediately sack that HP. Go for the next one. Perfect. I'm digging those void buttons, though. I'll have to see what triggers them. I assume they just kind of show up randomly over time. Okay, there you are. 
We have no more buttons. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much of... There we go. Does he leave? I have no idea. I'm just going to go in here. Bullets become homing orbs. Don't stop moving. Ants and pants. I mean, this seems reasonably doable. I'm so glad that cannot harm me. Okay, there we go. Ants and Pants is done. Oh, there are, oh, it's an upgrade. Bullet knockback. Oh, that's what this is. go with that. I think that was actually the last the least useful option. All buttons become proximity mines. Yeah, let's uh let's keep going button spec here. I don't know if there's a virtually better build. Okay. And then there's the boss. Do I have no choice? Am I? Oh, I'm locked in here until that's gone. Now I can leave. The music on this is like hype as heck. Oh, hey, we can also buy a bunch of things. Hello. Weapon tennis racket. Shocking mm. icon. Banded block, but that's only for shields. Base hunter. Grenade on reload. Longer range and shielding. That or faster respawn. I'm gonna go with that first and foremost. I'm just gonna upgrade both of those. Okay, because that only goes up to three. Doesn't look like we have anything else here either. Okay, that looks to be nothing, but that's fine. Okay. Bullet knockback, quicker and more explosion. Oh, I can trade. The emerald, emerald on shielding? Sure. I'm not actually sure if that's strictly the right choice. Get away from that. That's not a me problem. Would gladly accept the extra cash. Doesn't give me too much. I'll still take it. I was hoping to get some more things that would give me maximum HP. There we go. I'd like to get some more. Ow. Is that the boss? No, that's something else. This is one of these guys. Or maybe it is a boss. It is. All right. We just want to go this direction. There is a little bit more loot. But I've got one more of these void totems. That I specifically need to pop before I can do anything. Stay away from those. Pop the buttons. Just let them ruin everything. There we go. Anything else? Just whatever that stuff is. Alright. And then it's just money. The question is, do I want to go for the shop again? Was there anything else there? I Maybe I should buy a gun? That's a very rough maybe. Let's go back and see what he has. 
now that I've got another another 28. Oh, I can just run straight through the building. Nice. So, tennis racket, expanded block, bass hunter. 15 for the bass hunter. Anti-void turret. The main question is, is the bass hunter a melee weapon? No, it's a gun. Okay. Works for me. And boss seems to have moved over here. Okay, stay away from that. Oh, that's how that works. Yeah, the zappy ground is actually working really well for me. Alright, send that off. Mess him up. Phase two. avoiding. Okay. Now we want him to come over here. Come on, Hambone. He's leaving. That sucks. I was hoping to bait him into my, uh, bait him into my landmine. away from the lasers. Yeah, he's trying to jump where I am, which is actually working out well, fairly well for me. Get him. Boy, those landmines are absurd. Oop, let's do that again. Get a couple more. More durability. Uh, quicker and more explosion. Knock that. No, definitely the beep boot button. HP is looking fine. That's maxed out. Ooh. Is... I've never done this before. Oh. Melee weapons shock enemies. Rat boot attack on stomp or a shop discount. The shock is tempting. The rat boot could be interesting because I'm doing a lot of stomps. The discount could be really good. I'm going to go for the rat boot. Okay, I do actually have a second weapon. Uh huh. Do I go take a mighty risk here? What is this? Oh, World End Portal. Oh. Ain't that handy. Okay, so I don't I do not want to trade my martial arts thing. The main question is, do I I think I do. Stay away from that though. Wait, okay, what is this? Power-ups. Trade for, oh, trade 20 for Arachnoid Haste. Oh, that's fine. I'm not using that anyway. Okay, so we get a couple of upgrades. Nag that. Grab boot attack on stomp, bullet ring on reload, or melee durability. Triple radius and lifetime, knockback, faster. Go for the zap. Okay, so the one problem is we are very low on HP. Yeah, do I just get 12 money for completing those? Bullet wall bounce, 
combo stomp bones. Okay, so yeah, it looks like maxing out stuff is super worthwhile. My only problem is my utter lack of HP. Oh, I see. It just takes me back to the world end. Of course. I thought it would take me to the next, next zone. I was very confused for a hot second there. So let's see. Lose rat boot for max health. Yeah. Sorry, rat boot. You would have been cool, but I do need to be able to live. Okay. Trade weapon for power up. The beacon gun. I'm not even using that gun that much. Poison turret. And then, do we want to try and dump for... Yeah. I'm just shy. It'd be kind of nice if he actually stayed full. And so, like, subsequent runs, you can kind of bank extra stuff in there. Wait, am I just generating crab bullets? Okay, the one issue is that hurt. And now the boss has showed up. I think I'm just gonna leave. We are very fast though. that for a hot second, grab this, land mine. They should kill the gnomes. What is this? Hurt yourself for five shards. Is like possibly useful. I think we'll want to do that at the very end. Maybe that's the boss. I'm just gonna assume it is. All right, then I'm just gonna leave. I'm not quite used to this area. I've never fought these enemies before, so I'm not used to their patterns. However, Send that off. Good, there is that. Everything is exploding again. We do have a corrupted loot vortex. Raid for Axolotl. I gotta take a look at this power up. Faster melee attack speed. Ah, uh, mmm, that one's tough. Because, like, I'm sure it's a decent weapon, maybe. But we might find something better. I'll wait on it. Let's see what else we got. Do not dodge. Defeated enemies. Snowman. Now let's go with this. Okay, so I can no longer dodge. Trigger my landmine. Oh, those are my rats. Aha! Fools. You set off my trap mine. There we go. 
Could be good. So what is this? Oh, fully heal. I mean, I guess that's okay. That's less cool than I thought it was going to be. Well, we can get the rat boot back. Fire sprint during combat. All buttons follow you. I have to go with the button limbo. If I if I can get my but buttons to follow me around, I can kite them through bosses. I just need more buttons. Avoid that. I credit where credit is due. They are effective. Okay. Trade my bone slippers? No, thank you. Okay, protective friend, money, or an upgrade. Go for the ring of ice spikes. I don't know what the protective friend is exactly going to do for me. Okay, good. It gives you ample warning. Ample enough. I'm not that flimsy. Okay, avoid that. No, can't destroy that. Ow. Nope, that one actually didn't hit me. I'm surprised. Alright, so what are you? A protective friend. Hopefully he just runs around and hits things for me. We have bullets become homing orbs. Total bat power or electricity stomp. Crazy bat lady. I don't know what's going on. Oh, she's just some lady carrying bats around. Sure. <laughs> what is this build? What have I done? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna feel bad for murdering the owls. Only slightly. They just make cute at uh, owl noises. Sacrifice that power up for maximum health. Absolutely. Like, there's a couple I won't go for, but in this case, nah. Set that off. Is the boss here? Oh, the boss is here. The prophecy. Let's snag that. I'm just going to kind of passively harm it. Just by existing. And then I'm going to stay away from whatever that laser is. Avoid those. I don't know what those things do. But I suppose it doesn't matter too much. How much ammo do I still have? Not much. That's fine. Once again, I'm kind of button powered here. Rather than anything else. I still don't quite know what the crazy bat lady does. I feel like I should learn, but I haven't needed to that bad yet. I can just kind of zap the heck out of them. Ow. That actually hurt me. Fine. Set that off. We've no survivors. We get an upgrade chest. The fact that you can upgrade things is super nice. So spend a lot of money for more max health and bigger radius. By chance, bat health and more max health. Oh, sacrifice money or money. 20 money, 20 money. I'm gonna think on that one. 
Because it is mostly tempting. I'm still not quite sure what that does. I, did the boss move over here? I think it might have. Yeah, there it is. This is leave for a moment. Bubbles. Weirdly huge. A. Hey, this is what I was looking for. I didn't want to sacrifice any money for anything until we've been here. He's hammer. Stronger knockback. Brilliant idea. More bones. Bended block. Bullet knockback. Or hasteful sprinting in air. That's an interesting one. You have no idea how tempting the cheese hammer is, though. I think my protective friend is in the way. Alright, I did not expect I'd be going for, like, full melee here, but here we are. I... what happened? Everything became rats. And I don't know what that secondary attack is. Oh! Everything becomes rats because that's what the cheese hammer do. Every time I hit enemies, everything becomes rat time. I don't know if it has a synergy with the, uh the rat bullet, but I'd certainly hope so. Okay, do we have anything else? None here, it looks like. Oh, there's a whatever that is. Alright, so there's one door left. I don't actually have the money for this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of whatever those shards are. Okay, I pretty much didn't mess with this specific room at all. There we go. Now, is it is it boss fight time? I think so. I... This thing is deeply unsettling. Okay, so it's doing the laser. But I kind of don't need to care. Oh, there is my landmine. Oh, stay away from that. I don't know what he's doing. Right, there goes my... There goes my landmine. That is the big damage. Whoa! They got pissed. Okay, stay away from that tractor that's about to explode. Just rinse the dude with rats. Ow. Ow? Ow. Those... Nope, those are his. Unfortunately, it's not always the clearest. Go for that. We do have a little bit more ammo. I'll want to go get some HP before I do anything else. So, bullet wall break. Gravity pulls you and projectiles to the ground, or void attack on reload during battle. Bullet wall break ain't that helpful. Void attack on reload during battle. I don't reload, though. I think we're actually just going to skip the challenge. I don't need the extra item here. some things up. I think I didn't get him. Ow. There we go. There's the landmine. Took it a while. Ow. 
fine. Because he gave me HP. Okay, we got a couple of things. We've got a chest. Shop discount. No. I I'm going to go for the shop discount. It's a little late. Do we want to recycle either of my weapons? Not overwhelmingly. Oh, my allies died. Hopefully they come back. It might be on a per region basis. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, it is now void time. Grab that HP. Alright. Time for the worst prophecy. Ow. Ow. Well, that sucks. Now I can leave. He's also got Mad Egg. Oh. Of all of the bosses, this one is... Not my friend. He's hard to get close to. I don't know where he went. There it is. Is that? Where's my button? There it is. Oh, did he leave? Left. All right, whatever. We're going shopping. Then I'm going to go refill on whatever HP I can. Okay, so things I'm like, oh, it's only at 10%. That's, um, not great. I was hoping for a little bit more than 10. I guess 50% would be pushing it. That would be absurd. Like 25%, I think, would have been the sweet spot there. Let's, uh, I've got plenty of ammo. Oh, wait. have the hit my button and then mess them up is there anybody even left no there's a lot of carnage but I don't think there's anyone left do I want to spend five for a health Not overwhelmingly there should be another I know the boss drops and things too Much better arena for fighting this guy, too. Alright, stay away from those. Don't want to get hit by that. He's very fast, which is an issue. Ah, I should have waited on that one. Stay away. He's leaving. Okay, what was the trade-off on that one? No, lose the melee attack speed? No, thank you. I was hoping if that stayed locked, he would stay stuck with me, but I guess that's not the case. Okay. Bone slippers? Nah. I only trade that for max HP, whenever I can. Yeah, decent arena. Alright, mess him up.
And I'll be getting plenty of ammo. All right. He's doing that now. That's an animation. All right, so what do we got? Get a health jar, get an ammo jar. We've got an exit. What else do we have? Crab leg speed, martial arts faster, faster crab respawn. I think I'm gonna go for the crab leg because I want to max it out. The faster attack speed would be nice, but I don't think it's actually gonna make a huge difference here. And I'm reasonably well healed. Healed. And I don't think I'm going to spend my HP to get some money. Not in the moment. Okay, so what else do we have? Him, but he's been reset. Max health for three. I don't really know if I care for heavyweight bacteria. I'm going to do this, though, because I am... a slightly needless person. Uh, what else do we have? Or companion health. Corrupted max HP, beacon spinning blade. Comparable snake buttons appear, snake bullets. We want the snake button. Go with the companion health. And I guess I'll go for the melee attack speed. The crab respawn would be tempting. That one's useless to me, though. And honestly, if I could get rid of it, I probably would. I don't think I'm going to take the risk on that guy. You need at least, like, 30 to do it, so I'd rather take it into a shop. Like, sometimes the stuff he gives is good, and I'm sure there's logic behind it. Oh, this area is infinitely more sinister. Well, all things considered, Corrupted Loot Vortex. What is this? Trade money for turtle. Trade that for batapult. I think I'm gonna... Let's get the batapult. And money for the turtle. Oh, turtle is a weapon? I... was not aware. It's unfortunate. Okay, the batapult is at least very interesting, even if kind of low on ammo. Hey, what do we even have in here? What am I doing? Just like, just mess him up. Oh, and now we have him. This is fun. So now it is every boss at once. I'm trapped. The music is so good. So the nice part is I kind of operate on a just dodge, don't fight strategy here. I say as I take a hit. Alright. Time for me to leave, though. Alright. Now he's heckin' pissed. Now, what I need to do is find the remaining void pillars to kill this sucker. And I don't think he's gonna leave me alone. At least we can do a bit more damage to him. How do you feel about every boss at once? At least they're not their, like, super rude, um... Okay, where is it? Where's the eye? Back over here. At least they're not their super rude boosted forms yet. It is? Alright. 
Okay. I'm just gonna send those the batter bolt out periodically. Ow. I have no way of getting HP, but it dead. Did I win? Well, there's some stuff. Let's hop on Void. Is it dead? Or is it going berserk? Yeah, it's going berserk. I thought so. Alright, now for the real boss fight. not entirely sure where to even fight. The music is incredibly good, though. Yup. Alright, I can kill the rats. Turn that out. Okay, back to cowardice. Oh, I think I'm supposed to hop on him when he's doing that. I got some HP though. Should have gone for that air dash speed. Oh well. Fine. I'm just. Nope. On it. Any dead. Yes! <laughs> Off camera. I, um... I'm not very good at this game, but I'm very good at finding a build that solves my problems for me. Rude. Gosh, with a sliver of HP. What an absolute, like, rad final song, though. Ugh! Moderate. 2 HP out of 40, question mark. And we get a bunch of meta currency. Not as much as I'd like, to be honest. Because I know this game is fairly grindy. Kind of. I mean, I guess some of these are cheaper than others. Alright. Let's feed the anti-void. After de defeating the void, you can now loop back to the start with your current equipment at your own risk. So I think that makes the game harder but more resources and upgrades and whatnot. Which, I'm not a big fan of looping, but I'm glad it's an option. It can be kind of fun. Unfortunately, uh, we need a lot of stuff if I want to unlock any of these things. It's not like a huge issue for me. But I'm going to be grinding for a while. Beacon locker. Ah, so we can also unlock some more things, but it's very expensive. Here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of grinding for meta currency to unlock stuff, so I want to see what I can get. We're, we're just going to go on a bit of a bender to show some things off if I can. It might not let me. Yeah, game does not like being all tabbed, but beacon locker. Switch to the, what is this thing? A dagger. Alright. Do that one more time. Should have another. Get the shotgun.
or shot her. Okay, so nope, doesn't look like I get a choice. Dang, probably should have unlocked that one. I was hoping I could uh, hack up my meta currency to unlock a bunch of things, but it's... Wait, yes. Maybe I can. Maybe I got lucky. Let's just see. Nah, I didn't like it. Dang. Yeah, so it, it's got to be some, something else stored elsewhere. I'm not very good with cheat engines, so I'm not quite sure if I can mess with that sort of thing. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Like, I don't think any of this is actually, like, meta progression in terms of making you stronger. I think it's just more options, more characters, more ways of kind of controlling what your build is. And for me, that's kind of huge. But I'd have to see the rest of this town to really know. So, for now at least, Voidigo is available on Steam in 1.0. It's probably one of the best un undersung roguelikes on the market. Uh, it's got 1,400 reviews. It's it's a little bit more popular than I thought it was going to be. But for a game that effectively takes the best part of Nuclear Throne and Enter the Gungeon without as much of the like horror... I don't want to say like horror bullet hell and some really nonsense weapons and kick-ass music. It's solid. Uh, it's also it's 20 bucks normally. I guess 19 bucks normally, which is an interesting price tag, but I ain't going to complain about it. Um, But super worth it if you're a big fan of that style of roguelike and have kind of missed uh, more like it. I don't know. I... I enjoyed Isaac. I enjoyed Nuclear Throne. I tried getting into Gungeon. I was real, real bad at it. And, like, I just couldn't get used to the rolling was my issue. Uh, and so this is, like, the really nice happy medium for me. Especially because, once again, uh, I guess, here, one second. Gotta go to the next. Oh. <laughs> Gotta actually unlock that character. Uh, oh. Combo Strike. Explosion combination uh, stomping. I didn't even know about that. We get the shotgun, we get our colors. But yeah, the fact that I can actually choose different difficulty settings feels really nice here. So bosses change area less often, needs less damage to act, bubble needs less damage to activate. Like, I know some people are like, no, there must be only one difficulty. But like for me, having all these options makes it so much more accessible to everybody. And I love seeing that because sometimes I just want to play these games and not have to stress out because the I'm woefully unprepared for the final boss. Anyway, so with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. And I'll be back for some co-op of this at some point. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.